Hello guys, welcome back once again. Today we're going to explore the Android UI Visual Designer inside the Visual Studio 2022. So however, you are a seasoned developer or just starting out, this tool can significantly enhance your app development process. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's dive right into it. Visual Studio, of course, is a powerful integrated development environment, IDE, that supports Android application development. You can create a native Android apps using C Sharp and .NET. This allows you to leverage your existing, existing .NET skills to build high performance Android applications. So rather than just talking too much here, let's have a look at how the whole thing works out, yeah? So to get started, you will need to install Visual Studio 2022. Make sure you have the latest version. During installation, select the mobile development with .NET workloads. This will include everything you need to, to start building Android applications inside of Visual Studio. So once Visual Studio is set up, Let's go ahead and create a new project. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022 open. So let's move ahead and click on the create a new project. So here, let's select um, the platform as Android, yeah? So as you can see here, and I've got a bunch of projects that we can build to, um, to target our Android, um, Android platforms. But let's scroll down and select Android application. So this is just a project for creating a .NET Android application, yeah? So let's select it and click on the next. Obviously here you can configure your project details, yeah? Like the project name and the location of the project <coughs> and create a solution and the solution name and whatnot, yeah? But we're not going to look too much into that, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the next. So here, obviously you can um, configure additional information regarding your Android application. We're not looking too much into that, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the Create. So as we can see here now, you've got a very simple Android um, project template created for us, yeah? So let's go ahead and explore what's inside the project, yeah? First of all, let's have a look at the main, main activity.cs. So here, as you can see, we've got this very simple main activity.cs. So this is just an Android activity. This actually helps, this is the, like, the entry point for our Android application. So this helps create the Android application. So as you can see here now, the set V content here is actually set to the activities, layout activity underscore main here. We're going to have a look at it shortly here. But this method, it overrides the onCreate method here. Yeah. So this actually creates an instance of our application, okay? So as we can see here now, this is the main launcher. Yeah, the main launcher is set, is set to true. So this actually this actually makes it the, um, the starting point of our Android application, yeah. We're not going to look too much into code as this video is, make, is mainly based on our visual, the, the visual designer for the Android application. So let's move ahead to the resources folder. So the resources folder contains a bunch of folders, but we're going to look specifically at two folders here, yeah? the values folder and the layout folder. Yeah. So let's have a look at the values folder. Yeah. The values folder contains two um, sub, um, XML files. Yeah. Let's have a look at the strings here. Yeah? So basically, the strings folder contains the text that obviously you can you can reference inside the applications. So this is just to prevent you from always writing text and whatnot. So this will this will actually make the application even faster. Okay, so let's go ahead and add one test to our project. I mean, to this, uh, to our resources here. So it's just simple, we type in string and then the ID. This is just to identify the, the test. So let's make it a button test. And then let's put click me. Yeah, that's all that we need to do for here for now, yeah? So let's go ahead and save it. And then close the, the strings.xml. So right now, let's open the layout folder. 
Yeah, so layout folder contains activity underscore main. So if we look at it here, so this is where the, the set content view is referencing the activity underscore main. So this basically will be our starting point of the application. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open it. So as you can see here now, we've got an activity underscore um, XML. So once it's open here, we've got a split screen here with, with the one side, the, the, the designer, the, the, the visual designer, and the other side with the XML code here. So let's have a look at uh, what we can do here with our visual designer. First of all, let's look at this, what is here, the device. So basically the device part here is you can select whatever device that you want to use, obviously to test your project. Okay, so there are a bunch of devices and then you can even go for a generic device or some other forms of factors here like Android TV and whatnot. Yeah, so basically if you're building an application for Android TV, you might want to um, select this bit just to test it to see how the, it's all going to come up here. And then we've got the versions. So obviously you can select what versions that you've got installed here. If you if you don't have what you what you're looking for, you can go to choose uh, Android and then Android SDK manager. And then you can you can download and install the whatever version that you want to use. Okay. And then let's come to the theme. So as you can see here now we've got the theme selected as the default theme. But obviously you can go for more themes. So the default theme is um, whatever team that the device is using, so it will act the app just like most applications that you use. So the device, I mean, the, the, the theme will be the, the main parent theme of your Android device. Okay, so let's click on the more themes. So here, as you can see, uh, we've, got, we've got a bunch of themes. So we've got a black theme, uh, we've got the a black theme, no title. So obviously, if you want it to be a full screen without any title, yeah, you can you can do that as well. And then we've got a no title full screen. So basically, if you, uh, this would be really good for uh, building an, an application for Android TV. Okay. So you can let's go ahead and select the the black theme. So as as you can see, once we selected it, we've got the the, the theme. The theme is is black now. It's turned into black. Okay, so let's select. Okay, so here, let's select this this bit here, the theme editor. So here, you can you can you can enhance your theme by selecting whatever color that you want to use or whatever color scheme that you want to use. Okay, here you can. You choose the color picker, you can use the material palette, or you can get it from the resources. Okay. So let's go ahead and select the background. Let's see what let's see how we can select the background and choose whatever color that we're looking for. Okay, so let's use the color picker. So let's select any color. Yeah. And then let's go back. So as you can see, yeah, what I, once I, I, I clicked it, so basically it's not it's not reflected because the uh, the changes the, the, it's not saved. So basically, we have to save the changes for the for for the, our selection to take effect. Yeah. So let's go ahead and go back to the the dark theme since we don't really need that. So first, I mean, the next thing is let's look at the two box. Yeah, so the toolbox contains a lot of controls that you can use you can, by dragging and dropping it to the to your UI, or you can you can drop it inside the code as well. Okay, so let's have a look at a very quick example. So let's let's look for a linear layout. Yeah, a, a horizontal linear layout. Let's drag and drop it here. So as you can see here now, we've got a, a linear layout. Drag and drop inside our, our code. So let's expand it. And put something inside our linear layout. 
So let's come back to the two box. So before we do that, let's go to the um, the, doc, the document outline. So the, the document outline, yeah, displays displays your UI components or your U, uh, uh, the design components in a hierarchical manner. Okay. So let's come back to the tools and uh, type button. Uh, let's drag it and drop it inside our linear layout. Okay. So as you can see here now, we have a button added. Yeah, so if you may recall, yeah, at the start of the video, we put in a, a button test here. So let's put at string. So button test. So as you can see, we've got the button test here. So once we select it, yeah. It's just so it's, it's showing click me here. So basically displaying the the the, uh, the test that you already assigned. Okay. So as you can see here now, if you go back to the document outline, yeah. So as you can see here now, we have the linear layout here yeah, with the button with the button inside. So we can expand we can expand it, or we can we can just collapse it. Okay. So I'm going to leave this video here for now since I don't want to complicate it too much. So here, um, I suppose you're going to just follow up and expand your knowledge on this, yeah. And please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, wherever you are, peace.